guys this is malinki welcome back to my channel voice of malinki today we will talk about origin of birds and if you are new in my channel please subscribe my channel and if you like my video please do like comment and share my video so first of all if we are asked in the exam to write about origin of birds we get scared that uh, how much we should write because we have limited time in exams and you will get plenty of information about this topic so let's focus on this lecture i will uh, explain only that much you are supposed to write in your exam so let's talk about origin of birds so we all are aware of uh, mesozoic era mesozoic era right so it was the era of dinosaurs it was the era of dinosaurs and dinosaurs were reptiles right so this era was mainly predominated by dinosaurs and it is believed that birds have evolved from reptiles in this mesozoic era so birds have evolved from reptiles in this mesozoic era and two fossils were found from germany two fossils were found from germany from those two fossils we could know about this truth that birds evolved from reptiles so those fossils are first is archaeopteryx and second is archaeoramythes they represent a transitional stage between reptiles and avis so they represent transitional phase between reptiles and avis because they show both reptilian features as well as avian features they had reptilian features and avian features avian means birds right so from that it was concluded that birds originated from reptiles now there are many theories regarding the characters of ancestral bird which was believed to evolve from archaeopteryx so some of the theories we will try to understand so from archaeopteryx actually the first ancestral bird was evolved now there are many uh, theories regarding that topic so we will talk about them one by one so first theory was given by osborn according to him the ancestral bird was an arboreal four legged parachuting animal which glided from tree to tree so arboreal means we will write it here who live in tree that is arboreal and they were like parachute so they could float in air they could float in air 
and glided from tree to tree that means they moved or slipped from one tree to another afterwards feathers and wing muscles developed feathers and wing muscles developed and four limbs became wings so feathers and wing muscles developed and four limbs became wings and the hind limbs were used for the walking purpose next theory was given by nopska so according to him the ancestral bird it was a uh, it had long tail so the ancestral bird was long tailed bipedal so it was bipedal creature that means it used to walk with two legs walked with two legs and ran and jumped along the ground with the strong hind limbs with the strong hind limbs and they flapped their four limbs in the air why because to increase the running speed to increase the running speed later the four limbs became wings next theory was given by stainer he suggested that the ancestral bird was an arboreal and four leg creature who used hind limbs for jumping and four limbs for climbing later the four limbs became wings and hind limbs remained for walking next theory was given by bibe he said that the ancestral bird one was an arboreal and four legged creature uh, and it had feathers in all the four legs and it used its all four legs as parachutes in gliding so during jumping from one tree to another tree they used their all four legs as parachute next theory was given by gregory he suggested that birds have a dual origin so some have evolved from cursorial and others from arboreal ancestors so cursorial means who used their limbs for running and arboreal means who used to stay in trees so some birds came from cursorial ancestors and some birds came from arboreal ancestors presently it was believed that birds have either diphyletic origin or monophyletic origin diphyletic origin of birds i will discuss first so the earliest known fossil birds include both flying as well as flightless types so what was the earliest known fossil flying bird it was archaeopteryx and what was the earliest known flightless fossil bird it was hesperonis 
Hesperonis, right? Now, uh, so both were present, both flightless and uh, flying birds were present at the earliest time. Recently also we can see both flying and flightless birds are available. So recently also we can see flightless birds and flying birds. Flying birds we all have seen and what are the flightless birds? So penguin, ostrich, emu, these are some birds which are present recently who cannot fly. Therefore, it is believed by some authors that birds have diphyletic origin. Diphyletic origin means two lines of descent origin. According to this theory, today's flightless and flying birds have descended from flightless and flying ancestors respectively. So, flightless ancestor and flying ancestor. Both were present. Now from flightless ancestor present day flightless birds appeared. And from flying ancestor present day Flying birds appeared. So it is a two lines of descent origin. This is one line and this is second line. So this is diphyletic origin. Next is monophyletic origin of birds. So it is the most accepted theory. This theory says that birds have monophyletic origin origin that is one line of descent origin. According to this theory, today's flightless and flying birds have descended from a single ancestor that is the flying ancestor. So, flying ancestor was present and from that flying ancestor both Flightless birds and flying birds which are currently present both have evolved. So according to this theory flightless birds which are present today also had wings once upon a time. Later they shifted to a terrestrial mode of life in the land of some areas where they had abundant food, they had few competitors or enemies. So they didn't require any more to fly and hence they lost their wing. Because see, flying is an expensive process in terms of energy, right? Flying requires energy. So birds mainly fly to search for their foods or to escape from their enemies. Now, if they have enough food in land where they stay or if they do not have enemies, then why would they fly? So they don't require to fly, so they didn't fly and lost their wings. Otherwise, all birds all evolved from the flying ancestor. So this is one line of descent because here only one line is present here. 